It's been controversial since January, now reaching Illinois' highest court. Arguments for and against the assault weapons ban went before the state Supremes. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. On its face, it seems like the core issue is about the constitutional right to bear arms. As Lizzie Stiles joins us live in the studio to explain, the justices feel it's more complicated than that, leaving lawyers in the case with mixed feelings. Tyler and Amber, good evening. For the second time this year, a controversial state law has come before the Supreme Court. Earlier, state leaders were defending the elimination of cash bail, and there's no ruling yet in that case. But now, there's another big decision for the Supreme Court justices to make, whether or not a ban on assault weapons in the state is unconstitutional. It seems like a cut-and-dry question. Does the assault weapons ban in Illinois violate the Second Amendment right to bear arms provided in the U.S. Constitution? State Supreme Courts can't really handle cases for federal rights, and this case isn't that simple. Attorneys for Republican Representative Dan Calkins of Decatur, alongside other plaintiffs, got it into the state Supreme Court using some legal logic. The state constitution includes a right to equal protections, essentially saying a state law can't violate a fundamental right of its citizens. They argue if the Second Amendment is a fundamental right, then the ban has to go. It is declared to be an individual right uh, above all other interests. And so anytime you get into some balancing, that fundamental individual right has been declared by our U.S. Supreme Court to elevate above all other interests. The state of Illinois, represented by the Attorney General's office, maintains there's no violations of rights in this case. Anyone who currently owns a weapon fitting the assault weapon description has time to get it registered with the state. The law restricts the sale, manufacture, and purchase of those guns. Agencies like law enforcement are exempt. They feel the restrictions are necessary to protect people from further gun violence. And we're trying to keep people safe. We've had people use these type of weapons to do to commit mass shootings and there's a there's a rational uh, basis to say that we don't want a proliferation of uh, assault weapons out there. It's expected to be at least a few weeks before any decision is made and based on that ruling this case may find its way to the U.S. Supreme Court.